I'm Steve Oliver, welcome to another edition of the Random Sessions, completely unplugged, no electrical aid whatsoever. This week, Lawrence County, let's hear their first song, Train Tracks. I was feeling so lonesome blue, all I could think of was you, since you left me for another, well I've truly not known. And I put that train coming just heard train tracks by Lawrence County. Unfortunately I'm having to do the interview from behind the camera because as you can see there's not enough room for me uh, on the sofa this week. But um, I want to ask you first of all, um, you were DH Lawrence and the Vaudeville Skiffle Show and now you are Lawrence County. So please could you explain the change of name? It didn't fit on boards at festivals. <laughs> <laughs> it was too long. So we had to change it. Ow. Yeah, I, there was a range of reasons really, I suppose that was one of them. You can't fit it on your sandwich board outside the pub, uh, that was one of them. Uh, the other thing was, I think we were slowly changing the style of the music slightly. And so we did start off with that really sort of skiffly sound and groove, which we still have. Uh, but we, we're sort of gradually moving into a sort of Americana sound, I suppose, which we've always liked, with a little bit more featuring... Uh, Bill Kerry on uh, electric guitar. Electrical guitar, yeah. Talk us, tell us about your electrical guitar. Well, it adds to the sound. That's what it's done. It's enhanced the sound. So we took the skiffle out of the, the, the name so that we could have a much shorter name that kept the, the local thing going, you know, with the D.H. Lawrence thing. Um, and, and one shorter and also didn't actually name us as a specific genre. So we kind of still are influenced by the folk music that we've always liked. Uh, but we've always had this sort of uh, Americana thing going and that was a big influence for us and I suppose some people sort of pigeonhole you in a little bit of an old, old country sort of thing uh, as well to a degree. So in a nutshell we needed a shorter name just like Pete <laughs> said so we didn't really need to say anything. <laughs>
obviously been together a long time and you all work together in different uh, guises and you all work solo and uh, in different bands and things. When it comes to songwriting for this band, how does that work? Is it a collaborative effort or do you each bring something in? Uh, Al writes them. <laughs> I'm Rogers. I'm yeah. Rogers. Yeah, me. me too, yeah. And then, um, the and then we come along with our finished songs and join in. Yeah, I mean, the on the yeah. <laughs> yeah, but these guys do themselves down because they're really important and the, and the new sound actually is, is featuring a lot more of this fella here and this fella here actually uh, and this fella here yeah so we, we we might turn up with a song that might be written but actually we did we really are starting to work as a band now and arrange them a lot differently uh, with the input of all of the musicians to be fair so don't do yourself down and arrangements. Yes. Even arranged. Well arranged. And we like we know when it starts and when it finishes and yeah. it might be a slow bit in the middle. Well, the young man walks into the bar Sixteen years since through that door And he hasn't seen the light of day Since 1994 No one sees him walking As he walks slowly across the floor And he's staring in the bomb and he's seen it all before. And he drinks another bottle, it's the last one he'll start. And he drinks another bottle. And it goes straight to his heart Well, the young girl, she's consented Inside the street and through her head And her eyes thin, her hair is dark Sometimes she wishes she was dead
to do at the end. You've done 10,000 Miles, a traditional song. Um, could you tell us about that and why you uh, particularly chose that one? Well, the thing is, we, we sort of make a bit of a point of not trying to do any like covers of songs that aren't trad songs. So that, that is a trad song, so technically it's not... It's not a cover, it's an interpretation of a traditional song. <laughs> that's, that's right. We're, we're going to call it a cover. For the, <laughs> yeah, cover. We do, we do for, the, for the purposes of the format, it's a cover. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's not, we didn't write it. I don't know, it's just, uh, again, it's just a song that, you, as it, a lot of our stuff is not danceable to, and that's one that people can tap their toes to and dance along, and, and even if you don't know it, you can you end up sort of joining in and stuff, you don't have to hear it a couple of times, they know the chorus. Um, so I don't I don't know what the origins of that song are. We're not sure whether that is actually an Irish song or an English song because he talks about. No, it dies in Italy. That's not yeah. Scottish. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, you know, right. well, well, no, it's, no, it's transportation. It could be Australian actually because. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who knows? It's not yeah, yeah, there's a lovely yeah. fiddle break in it, and everybody yeah, 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 loves to you know, yeah, yeah, jig yeah, along to it for me just to please me. Yeah, they like that. I've got to keep and the important question, where can people find out about Lawrence County online and listen to you, perhaps? Into web website. Which is? Uh, www.lawrencecountymusic.com All in one word. Yeah, yeah, Lawrence County Music. All lowercase on one word. Yeah, yeah. Well, the fiddle player knows uh, all this stuff. He does. You can find us on Instagram. It took me half a day to find you, that's Twitter and on Facebook as well, yeah. But the, the, there's a website out there now since we changed, uh, we've just changed the website. It's a good the name. Website. Is it good, Mark? Yeah, it is good. Yeah, I like it. Um, when you I think you find a few of our songs on Spotify as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Spotify. yeah, all the songs we've got out uh, under the old name uh, and, and what we have under the new name are all on Spotify as well. So you can dance along to all those deaths there on Spotify anytime you like. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, and we're going to leave on uh, that song now. So, uh, 10,000 Miles, thank you very much to Lawrence County for joining us and tuning in again for another edition of the Random Sessions next week. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. My true love, she was beautiful. My true love, she was fair. Her eyes were like the diamond, bright and golden was her hair.